Hey guys, Rex here, and welcome back to a brand new FNAF Secured Breach Ruin video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the insane lore that surrounds Cassie, our main protagonist, and the big question that everyone has been asking, who is Cassie's father? Now we're going to be going over three potential suspects in this video, each one providing its own compelling argument to being the truth behind this question. So without further ado, go ahead and grab a snack and let's go ahead and dive in. So as Cassie jumps into the pizza plex for the very first time, she begins to make her way through the building, eventually stumbling upon a door with a unique locking mechanism. Left stumped, Cassie eventually ends up looking down on top of a toolbox a where wrench. she finds a faz wrench. It's now just the like words my that dad's. Cassie mutters next actually change everything. A faz wrench. It's just like my dad's. And from this point on, I believe everybody stopped what they were doing and took a step back, wondering who is Cassie's father? And make no mistake, this line was put into the game intentionally by Steel Wool. You see, I believe that Cassie's dad is actually going to be a vital person in the FNAF lore going forward. There is actually proof of this in another FNAF game coming out very soon, but more on that later. Looking at your inventory in FNAF Security Breach Ruin, you will find that the Faz Wrench is a Fazbear Technician's Faz Wrench, obviously meaning that Cassie's father was a Fazbear Technician. So Cassie is no stranger to the Pizzaplex. Now what does this Faz wrench do? Well, its functionality is to charge conduits in the correct levels. Once these correct levels have been hit, a door will open or be unlocked. And in the AR world, also the world that you put on the Vanny mask, it is used to breach security nodes. But there's actually one important detail that I want to point out not only about this Faz wrench, but this very interesting locking mechanism. Now remember when I said that Steel Wool rarely puts something into a game that has no purpose? Well, we can make a big correlation between FNAF Security Breach Ruin DLC and the Help Wanted 2 trailer. And a friend of mine actually pointed out that in the FNAF Help Wanted trailer, you will see this exact locking mechanism inside of the elevator as our character is going down it. So now, after seeing a clear correlation between FNAF Help Wanted and FNAF Security Breach, who is the person going down this elevator? Notice what the narrator says. Welcome back for another week of career fulfillment and minimal social interaction. We know how challenging it can be to find a place where you feel that you truly belong and to find a job that treats you mostly with respect and only infrequently with contempt. For that reason, we are excited to inform you that you did an adequate enough job the first time around to After welcoming back. viewers back to another week of limited social interaction, the narrator acknowledges the difficulty of finding a suitable job. Now the viewer is also informed that they have performed adequately in their job and will be welcomed back. But if a person is being welcomed back, then you would automatically assume that they have worked here before. Now, in Help Wanted 1, we already know that that character was Vanny. But assuming that Help Wanted 2 is actually a prequel to FNAF Security Breach Ruin, one theory here could be that the man going down this elevator returning back to the job is actually Cassie's father. Now this could mean that Cassie's father is a character that we've never seen before in the FNAF lore. And if this is true, then we would get a bunch of details and information based on the lore of FNAF Security Breach not only Ruin, but also the base game. My thoughts here are that we will get some information on the blob itself as the trailer looks like it's taking place somewhat in FNAF sister location. And obviously, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that the blob's cover face is actually that of Funtime Freddy. And to push this detail even more, like I said, Steel Wool usually does not put something in the game unless it has some type of meaning. We get a quick glimpse of the blob returning in FNAF Security Breach Ruin. I also hope that somewhere in Help Wanted 2, we would get some acknowledgement of the mimic itself, as Gregory says that it has been trapped down in the basement for a very long time. Now obviously in FNAF Security Breach, we never get any hints or signs that the mimic even existed. So what if Cassie's father is actually the one who put it down there, thus being the character that is playable in Help Wanted 2. But you see, the theories don't end there. A lot of people have speculated that Cassie's father is actually the child from FNAF 4. Now, a theorist on Reddit named Monikai's Better Than You points out some very compelling details, mainly surrounding the objects that we find in FNAF Security Breach Ruin. The first one being the AR Bonnie lunchbox. You see, when you go into your inventory, it actually says that Bonnie was my dad's favorite. 
and the AR body mask description says, what happened to you? Now, of course, this could be Cassie just questioning where the actual glam rock Bonnie is. But of course, what if it's actually her talking about her father? And this Redditor also points out in even better detail. You see, when you look at the AR Chica's lunchbox, Cassie's detail says that my dad used to collect these, meaning that her father was probably in the early days of the franchise. Now, could we actually make the statement that her father might have been around in 1983? Well, let's actually take a look at this Bonnie Tormentor. You see, a lot of details about this character point and correlate to a similarity in Cassie herself. For one, look at the skin tone on this character. It's actually very close to Cassie's herself, and his outfit isn't too far from Cassie's either. Notice the red shirt and the blue jean shorts. And again, make no mistake, these details are always very important when dealing with a steel wool game. But there are a couple things that could disprove this theory, one being the FNAF timeline itself. You see, going back to the bite of 1983, we could assume that the child wearing the Bonnie mask was about 14 to 15 years old. And though we don't have an actual timeline of when FNAF Security Breach Ruin took place, we could assume it took place anywhere between 2030 and maybe 2040. So let's go ahead and do the math. If you go with the lower half and actually go with the year 2030 and subtract 1983, that is a 47 year difference. Not to mention adding the age of 14 to 15 years that Cassie's father had to have been during that timeline, that would bring us to 62 years. Now we don't know Cassie's age, but we can probably assume she's around the same age as Gregory, so we'll go on the higher end and say 12. If you take away 12 from 62, that would make Cassie's father 50 years old when he had her, which I'm not one to judge, but that seems a little too old to be having a child, but it's not outside of the realm of possibility. But what does cancel this theory out for me is the fact that Cassie's father would have actually been related to one of the most horrible incidents in Fazbear Entertainment history. And I just don't see how it could be possible that they would hire somebody involved to be a technician. Thus, I am canceling out this theory. Which brings us to the third and final theory, that Cassie's father is actually Michael. Now this theory comes from a Redditor named Spacebear87, who suggests that if Michael survived FNAF 6, which I feel is highly unplausible, that maybe he would have adopted a daughter in Cassie. He also points out that there could actually be evidence that Michael is still around in FNAF Security Breach, as he relays to the sticky note that says meeting with Smith at 5pm. And I assume this Smith that people believe they're talking about is Fritz Smith, which some people have made the case is actually Michael Afton. He also points out the grocery list that says butter, butter, butter. And finally, how all of the security offices look like they're designed around the FNAF 1 office. But if you ask me, I truly believe that this theory is really grabbing at straws. For one, and probably my main argument against this, is that why on earth, if her father was Michael, would his favorite animatronic be Bonnie? Especially since William Afton is a character related so closely to this animatronic. That character, of course, being Spring Bonnie. Also, I believe that it is more likely than not that Michael Afton is actually no longer alive. And if he did survive, I find it really hard to believe that the first thing he thought about was adopting a daughter in Cassie. So though, even though I think it would be absolutely insane lore to have Michael come back to fight his father, William, I think that this is a really, really big stretch. So if you ask me, I believe the first theory makes the most sense, as Cassie's father is a Fazbear technician who will be taking the new job in Help Wanted 2. And again, if the timeline does play out, then we'll be getting a whole lot more information and details as to what has happened before the NAF security breach. So guys, that wraps up this video here. If you enjoyed it, do me a big favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and feel free to comment down below your thoughts on these theories. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out!